West Coast first, NASA is about to launch its first planetary mission from right here in Southern California. And we get to talk to somebody about it. We yeah. are going to be joined right now by NASA's Insight Deputy Principal Investigator, Sue Smirkar at Vandenberg Air Force mm -hmm. Base. Sue, I want to start with asking, did I say your name correctly? <laughs> Uh, very, very close, yes. <laughs> okay, Smirkar, is that correct? Smirkar. Thank you. All right. So, <laughs> what is so important about this? I mean, it's a, it's, it's a scientific mission, but what is it that you hope to learn? We hope to take the vital signs of Mars. Uh, we have a very sensitive seismometer that's going to listen to the pulse of Mars, t recording Mars quakes. We have a heat flow probe that's going to burrow under the ground and take the temperature of Mars. And we also uh, measure how Mars wobbles as it goes around on its axis. So what will Insight's uh, lessons from Mars tell us about other planets, including Earth? Yeah. Well, uh, Mars is the perfect planet to go to study the birth of planets. Uh, when a planet forms, it's molten, and then very rapidly it, it develops these layers, the core, the mantle, and the crust. You know, on Earth, we don't have that initial crust anymore. Earth is so geologically active that that, that crust is long gone. But Mars has preserved that early crust, so it's the perfect place to go and look at these layers that form almost immediately after a planet forms. Okay, so a couple of questions that really don't have to do with science. Um, are you going to be landing anywhere near where you left the rovers? Mm -hmm. Are we going to send this probe to a spot where we're hoping to eventually send humans? Uh, we are landing about uh, 300 miles north of the Curiosity rover. Okay. Um, and we're landing on a very flat surface. Um, but we haven't yet chosen landing sites for humans. We don't exactly have plans to go yet. So um, we'll see where, if and when humans get to the surface of Mars. So will we be able to see it here in LA? The launch? Yeah, I mean yes, the launch, I mean. Yes. <laughs> uh, so uh, we hope to lift off at, at 4.05 tomorrow mm -hmm. morning. Uh, the launch window actually goes for two hours. Uh, so if you uh, follow us online, you'll be able to know are we launching at 405 and you can see the trajectory. But any cool. place in Southern California, you should be able to uh, go out in your backyard and see us launch. Well, one last That's question. This is, I thought this was pretty cool. You guys are, are, are launching two other satellites along with InSight. So are you actually putting satellites in orbit around Mars? Uh, we, ha we have these two uh, tiny satellites, CubeSats they're called, and uh, they will actually be flying by Mars. But what they're going to do is uh, listen uh, to our entry through the atmosphere of Mars and, oh. and send back all of the uh, signals that tell us everything is going smoothly as we go through the atmosphere. So thank you for joining us really this morning, cool. and good luck with the launch tomorrow. Thank you so much.